Well, for two weeks now, we've been showing you the growing memorial to George Floyd, where he died at 38th in Chicago in South Minneapolis. It's just one of many spots of the Twin Cities with new murals and artwork created every day. Well, tonight, Boyd Hooper spoke with the people working to catalog and preserve it in Floyd's memory. Nature has a way of bringing the cleansing, but on battered Twin City streets, artists are finding the meaning. It's like all these empty canvases up and down the street that people feel drawn to express themselves on. In the span of two weeks, rage brought looting and fires, which brought plywood barriers, which brought the street art now being studied and archived by University of St. Thomas professor Todd Lawrence and student Tiaran Daniels. It's not just murals, it's tags, it's graffiti, it's all kinds of different art that's popping up everywhere. The emotions that people are feeling, pain, anger, you know, like you opened up a book and it just sort of tells you what people are feeling. Feeling at 38th and Chicago, where George Floyd died. And a group of Hispanic artists are putting their emotions into a mural. It doesn't matter where you're from or what color your skin. We are portraying unity. Street art from the same intersection, retweeted by President Obama, then became the backdrop for George Floyd's memorial service. Street art, in a lot of ways, is, has been marginalized. People think of it as not being important, maybe not even worthy of study. All art has the power to affect culture. The thinking behind the George Floyd anti-racist street art database Todd and Tieran helped create out of their COVID-19 database, which morphed from a mapping project of street art in St. Paul's Midway until global yeah. events yeah. intervene. No, I don't think anybody would have guessed that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Plywood is already coming down, but in the database, the art will live, including the now completed work of those Hispanic artists now on display on Lake Street. It's beautiful. I see all the races defeat racism. The art of the field. We all need to be equal as one. Boyd Hooper, CARE 11 News, Minneapolis. Well, the George Floyd database contains images from around the world, and if you'd like to check it out or submit an image, you'll find a link at care11.com.